Welcome back to Soma, everyone. I hope you weren't too curious. What? What's behind that door? Nothing. At least nothing yet. I'm still in the same... Same recording batch right now. Yeah. Oh, that one again. So... I hope I'm not getting too much... Huh? Wait, this isn't... Oh, confidence. no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Yeah. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come Two. on, we can't quit now. There's gotta what? be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, Walking? the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. Oh, God. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. I don't. Okay, so we I do didn't that. have we go to a lot of the elevator. stuff yeah. about this Omicron. Okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start mm -hmm. it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the arc. Please you warn me. How, to get us on? how difficult could it be? <laughs> what is this? QAP X22 Multipurpose Volume NMRI? Okay. Is this some sort of scanner? Like, usual MRI scanners. Not that big. Wow, that's so cool. It's the whole gang. A crew photo? Really? Yeah. Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. I thought being <laughs> an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. Now I know better. <laughs> okay, I'm at the power suit proper usage. For the safety of you and your colleagues, put on a new preen under suit and body harness. Check the HPS for any visual damages, starting with the legs first. Legs, fix the parts onto your harness. Work yourself upwards. Lock the pieces together as you go. Let a partner help you with the back pieces on the torso. And the torso, not on the torso. Tap the secure button on your arm piece. You should hear the suit seal itself. The suit will then start to equalize pressure and tap into the oxygen tank. If the suit doesn't seal itself, flex the shock absorber and try again. If it still don't work, do not try to fix it yourself. Contact maintenance. The HPSs are very heavy and, suit will and the suit will compensate. You will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Be careful. Okay. Regular training applies. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive with much functional equipment. Okay. What That's is this? That's all right. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then Phi. Let's do it. Hmm. I don't like the sound of that. Oh well, Lambda is even not even on that map. Shell to Omicron. Change to HPS with the glamour. Yeah, that is that is that's just my plan. Wait, I'm I'm restepping these plans. They are they their plans. Power packs, tots, exit. What? Prep arc with signal transmitter. Wait, anything on the back? Nope. And what is this? I don't know. Okay, here's a PC. Let's look at it. Arc locator. Meh. God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Arc. The arc is at Tau?
Was it supposed to be at five? Peacefuls, okay. Recently, it was decided that the ARC project would become Patent 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties, despite Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the ARC project is the most logical step towards saving mankind and that we should spend as much time as and resources as needed to complete it. Uh, well... There's nothing else to do on this earth, apparently, because there was a big crash of meteor on the earth that just wiped out everything. So, I guess the only thing to do is not build an artif artificially... I, I can't speak for that too much, sorry. Um, an artificial construction to put your mind in. This is insane. They should have concentrated on beating in this WAU. Wow. Wow. And just try and find ways to live on so I actually disagree with this to embark where every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism using a pilot seat these scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches sometimes lasting up to three days electromagnetism using a pilot seat Wait. No. Never mind. I, I read too much into that. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to save mankind. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. The Ark is built to fit a Ranger Mark 7 probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun and technically survive for thousands of years living of the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and will be launched into space. Well, what else is there to do with the Ark? Like, seriously, if it can be... If it can survive in space, shoot it into space! I mean, space is awesome, right? I had to try three times to click that. The digitalized of human... The digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will, out of necess necessity, be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, and even prevent death. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease and our mortality. That is a heavy question again. Holy shit, this this game asks the questions. Just head on. But I have to strongly disagree with this. Because just because we have no diseases or we can't die doesn't mean we aren't human anymore. It just means we have no diseases to fear and no death to fear, at least in my mind. What makes us human is what we are, not what happens to us. I'm getting deep in this today. There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diversify and expand the population will be to introduce artificial... At, 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 artificial... At, at. I can talk today. <laughs> Intelligences that would in every way appear to be human, but with shot like and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smart in the future. I think even an inferior group of artificial people <laughs> would benefit our society. Well, here we are at the question. 
that this game makes for everything. Because aren't the people that get scanned the same as the guys that they want to put in there just to diversify the population? So they put more artificial, artificial intelligence in there to the artificial AI. Fuck this. So they put more AI into their room with AI they got from scanning humans just to make the AI feel more alive. I mean, sure, it's a good thing. I mean, but the the problem here is an inferior group of AI people would benefit our society. The problem here is they won't make them smarter at any point. They'd be happy to have an, an inferior group people in there just to feel better about themselves so I would agree to put in a group of artificial people in there but I disagree strongly disagree to put an inferior group of artificial people in there arc approval well 14% Wow. Thank you for persisting. This is how you call exporters. Is this actually in-game or is this um, from people playing this game? <laughs> That'd be amazing if people playing this game would be in this. Strongly to inferior companions. Yeah, they're, they're, people thought about this the same way I did, apparently. Eternity, eternity among the stars. Yeah, well. What else is that? Hey, I can be immortal! Why not? As long as my friends are immortal too, I am just gonna be immortal. Well, I'll be immortal nonetheless, but, well. Pain for gain, well, yeah. Artificial evolution. Wow. That's a very interesting thing. Documents, my decision. What to read? I hope you have fun in this. I have decided to finalize the arc with the stance we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed when we started the project. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. Ho! Oh, what's left? Apply interface module. Seal our capsule. Ask permission from 4Q. Brief Evishkin blah blah. Take shuttle to Omicron. Pick up power suits. Regroup with Tau. And that is where they went down. Apparently, because from uh, looking at the arc locator the arc is at Tau had to launch that they never did that load the bullet they never did that and launching the arc never did that all right you anything to say no good no device connected device let's get this fucking shit in the way thank you what is this? Is this a is this a prototype of the Ark? Let me check. Wow, that's a lot of terabytes. Oh, that's a lot of corruption. Okay. Uh Okay. Send this. 
Okay, what am I doing right now? I'm clicking this stuff and it goes away. Wait, what? Oh! I'm removing stuff. Type Soma. Physics. Just gonna add all this. Required type lights SRC. It's not in here, isn't it? Wait. Oh, there. Okay. Memory corruption detected. Wait. This is all n needed. Okay. It goes way over everything I need. Okay, I need this. Need this. Fluid I need. I need this. I need this. This too. This too. This not. But this I need. I'm still way over the top can't do anything to the scenes, which is probably the corrupted data. So this is a prototype of the arc, huh? Let me see. I deactivate everything here. Can I do anything to the scenes? Nope, I can't. Activating this. Just gonna activate few things here. This is needed, this is needed, this is needed. Yeah, this is going way over. It's just the same. So it doesn't matter what you activate first. Alright. What are you? What is this? The arc doesn't even look that bulky. This is gonna be easy. You haven't heard of the okay. concept of jinxing, have you? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot your people were superstitious. Oh, uh, thanks. Oh, this this is where the arc was earlier. Before they put it away. Okay. So what are you? What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Okay. Could you get inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the arc. <laughs> Give it a try. Let's do this. Okay. Tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Yeah, of course. Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. <laughs> Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. Okay. Looks like it'll work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron. Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the octave torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Uh, well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the Cortex chip is good news. If you know what I mean. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes Holy sense. Think about it. Crap. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body Half seems my... to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. Half my skull is missing! I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed.
more cameras back there. I wonder what's gonna happen. So, is this... Oh, I need my Omni tool for that. Can I take it? What time do we have? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Start an arc simulation. I want to see how it works. Start an arc simulation? I can't. The memory's corrupt. Get an arc simulation going. Yes, I can't. Get an arc simulation going. Dude, I told you I can't. Anything I can do here? No, probably not. Like, what the fuck? The data is corrupt. I can't do anything here. I'm gonna try to figure this out for a second. There we go! Awesome. I made it. Let me note it. Alright, and we'll come back. I finished it. So you had to just figure out a way to use as m less memory you could to just start the simulation and I'm gonna do this right now. Let's Try loading a dummy scan. Shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross section of the process. Okay. I'm gonna use myself. Better not use real data. I don't want to repeat what we did to Brandon. Oh, I'll second that. Well, I was curious how that would work. You need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. Okay, okay. Loaded modules. No, try again. The dummy needs to be loaded when you pause. <laughs> I have to stop at the right moment here. Yeah? Try pausing ah. when the dummy is loaded. Shut up. There we go. Run diagnostic. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? Now that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. Oh well. And with that, another very story-heavy episode has gone by. And now we probably head into a very dangerous area. I wish you a very good day. See you next time. Goodbye.